Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about searching our text expander snippets. Now text expander, if you don't know, allows you to type short bits of text that automatically expand into longer bits of text. Super handy for anywhere on your Mac. Now you know that phrase, too much of a good thing? That can kind of be the way it could be with text expander in that the more you use it, the more snippets you're going to have. And if you're like me, sometimes you know you have a snippet, but you just can't remember the exact abbreviation. And Text Expander has some great ways to be able to search and find it while still being productive. And that's what we're going to show you today. So I have Text Expander up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Preferences. And the ones we're interested in are down here at the bottom. The first one, Suggest Matching Abbreviations. And the second one, search snippets. I'm going to show you both and the differences between the two. But what you want to do to make full use of this is give these a hotkey or a key command that you type in and will cause this to happen. So I'm going to click on the suggest matching abbreviations and I'm going to type command shift S. And for the second one, search snippets, I'm going to do the same, same thing, but just so that we have something different, I'm going to choose Option Shift S. So Suggest Matching Abbreviations will let you, as you're typing, look up your text expander snippets. The search snippets will do it from the menu bar, and I'll show you that later. But first, let's take a look at suggesting our matching abbreviations. Super handy. Okay, so I'm here at a finder window, and one thing I like to do is scan all my documents to an inbox and then go through and process them. And Text Expander is super handy for this because it allows us to very quickly type in our file names. So let's say this here is a Skype bill. So I have a Skype number, and let's say this is the bill for it. So what I would do is I would hit enter because I want to rename it. And then the way I usually name my files is using a date stamp first. So I have a text expander snippet for that. And now, because I have Skype bills regularly, I have some text expander snippets set up for the different type of bills that I have. But let's say I cannot remember what it is, but I know it has the word Skype in it somewhere. So I like to have dashes in my file names. So I type in Skype because I know the word Skype is in there somewhere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that key command that I just showed you, that command shift S. And you can see here right away, it's brought up all of my snippets that have the word Skype in there somewhere. And you see, I have two choices, Skype online number or Skype unlimited calling. And I can either move the cursor up and down to choose the one I want, or I can even just hit, each line has its own key command, so I can just hit command 2, let's say I want the second one, and it's automatically replaced what I've typed with my snippet, and I just hit return, and it's renamed for me. Super, super handy. Now that's not the only way to do this though. Let's take a look at what searching our snippets is all about. Okay, so I'm here in Evernote just chose Evernote just because. This tip has nothing to do with Evernote specifically. And let's say that I want to name this particular note. And again, it's a Skype, let's say it's a Skype, a Skype bill, and I know the word Skype is in there somewhere. What we can do is we can use that other keyboard command, which we had set up, if you remember, as Option Shift S. And you can see it brings up the menu bar. And from there, we can type in Skype. And let's say this time it's the online number, so it's the same deal. We can move the cursor or we can just hit, and we can hit enter, and it's automatically inserted our snippet there for us. What's the difference between this and the other thing? Doing it the other way, we have to type the word first and then search. This way is just a way to jump to our snippet and enter it without having to type any words first. Just a different way to do it. Now, one last thing, let's say for some reason, there's some snippets that you do not want this suggest matching to work for. There's a way you can turn that off and I'll show you that now. 
OK, so we're back in the text expander settings. And let's say that there's some snippets that we don't want ab suggest abbreviations to work for. You can control this on a group by group basis. So you can see here I've got my Python group selected. If I uncheck this select abbreviations, then when I type in a word and do that, what I set up as command shift S, it's not going to look for any snippets that are in this group. So that's a way if you have something, either you don't want them cluttering up those search results or they're more private, this is just a way to do that. So this is how you can search for your text expander snippets. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks a lot.